I'm going to show you the Magnum extension from Scape for Genially, which is quite complex, but allows you to make a cool drop down quiz like this one. So this is the example from Scape and they've used um, Bohemian Rhapsody. So I can click on here and have all the different answers. So I'll just do something wrong and some of them right. And then I show you what happens. So if I do that and then click the check button, it then tells me I've got two correct words and three arrows and it's giving me the oops drum kit. But if I get it right, um, then let's see if I got this right. No, it's still wrong. Yeah. So if I get this right, I now get the guitar and it shows me that I've got five correct words and zero arrows. To make this, you need the template, which looks like this. This is the simple option where it just gives you a simple drop down menu. If you want to change the appearance of the drop down menu, like it is in here that you've got um, a different font in there and different size and color, then you will need to use the yellow um, slide, which gives you more options for um, modifying your drop down drop down boxes but we'll go with the easy one first so on here you've got different elements that need to be copied so i'll just copy the whole lot without the instructions and add a new page and add them on there now first i want to change my list of options so we change it cow pig and hen and obviously I need a question as well. So I ask, what is beef? There we go. I can put this up top. I can put my question, my, my answer box next to it. And then I've got the win element and the lose element. So winning, we want a little piggy. We know really it should be a cow. And for losing, we get a healthy bowl of cereal. There we go. Um, you could also add text to this and say well done or wrong but for now I just put the two pictures on there there we go then we also want a check button for now I just make a square box here and I group this with the button function here so I group this together let's see if this works so let's see our drop down menus if I say cow press the check button and it tells me one is correct zero incorrect or I can change it to something that's wrong so let's go to the hen and now it's saying one is incorrect and I get the porridge um, so this obviously makes more sense if I've got text next to the crosses there um, so I could put in correct now when I check it will tell me that zero are correct or one is correct okay when you're designing your page make sure that the text box of the question doesn't overlap your uh, drop down menu i had to learn it the hard way that it then doesn't work really so be careful with that if you want to change the design of your drop down box more you then need to use this yellow page so now it gets a bit more complicated and to use this you actually need to do it in preview mode it's in here and at the moment i've got that normal drop down box but i can change it in lots of different ways i can make it bigger longer so you can make lots of different changes to the color and so on if you want to change the font you need to type in the name of the font down here so you need to know which fonts are available and it also needs to be a font that you have already used on your slide with the questions so it takes it from existing text so i can see here what my text box will look like in this font and the size so i could uh, change the color let's make it red so it's now a red box here okay now what i need to do is copy this whole text down here this code Go back to my slide where I want to put the text box and then go to insert other 
and paste in this text I've just copied. When I click insert, it now has inserted this new red text box that I've made with the different font and so on. So now I can ungroup these, get rid of the old box, take my list and group it with my new red box. And now it should work if I go here and I've got a different font now, but it still works. There we go.